Hello friends, today is today I bring to you one experiment that failed but succeeded in giving me a new recipe altogether. Yes, my dear friends, I was trying to make chocos that are a kid's favorite but ended up with little bits and bites of chocolate. So for this recipe you need 2 tablespoons of ghee and vanilla powder or clove powder, 3 tablespoons of jaggery powder. If you want it sweeter for kids, you may add at least 4 tablespoons of jaggery powder. Sift it and then add half teaspoon of salt. Now start whipping. Whip until creamy as we always do in our recipes. It will turn creamy. And then we'll be adding 1 teaspoon of milk. This is teaspoon. Please remember this is not tablespoon. This is 1 teaspoon. Because the amount of ghee and butter is also less. And then we'll need to add 1 tablespoon of dehydrated milk powder. And this is optional. If you don't have milk powder then you can skip it. And add 1 teaspoon of besan instead if you want. Whip it and then add 1 fourth cup of little millet flour. And this is a gluten free cookie recipe. I, Since I was experimenting so I am adding flours in batches. This is 1 teaspoon of cocoa powder because we want to make them chocolatey. So if you don't want chocolatey punch you can skip it it won't make a big difference to the taste and texture now two tablespoon of peanut powder peanut flour or almond meal or almond powder or nut or seed powder of choice and then two tablespoon of bajra or pearl millet flour i'll be adding more next so and i'll also be updating the description with the complete list now we'll need to add two tablespoon of extra bajra flour or atta and please don't forget to sift all the dry ingredients and do check out the cookie baking basics guide for beginners without baking powder and soda now we'll be adding two tablespoon of extra of little millet flour if you don't have little millet flour you can add any other millet flour of choice now we'll be making small tiny balls and then pressing with thumb because I was trying to make chocos so choco it's just about making choco impression and now at this stage preheat oven air fry roti g convection to 160 degrees celsius for 10 minutes air fryer can be preheated for only 5 minutes and now you can give shapes of your choice if you don't want these tinny bits but these tinny bits look beautiful and they taste delicious as well bake for 12 to 15 minutes and timing might vary in your oven air fryer and now these are done and they are very crispy and so very yum i hope you enjoyed this biscuit recipe without baking powder and soda please write to me in comments how you found this recipe and if you want me to try out choco's recipe see you until next time bye bye